I guess it's better late than never. Um, we should have probably been doing this uh, about a month ago, if not two months ago. Um, obviously it's a good thing. Um, it, it probably means a little bit more isolation as we're coming out of self-isolation, but it, for the right reasons. So yeah, I think it's a good thing. As far as I'm aware, it's just to track and trace the spread of COVID-19 so it gets below, I think it's at one or something. Uh, but I think it's a good idea because it'll bring the rate down then hopefully we can get back to normal, fingers crossed. Just when you think of countries like New Zealand who set this up straight away and had a remarkable results with it, but it seems to have sort of uh, closed the door after the horse has bolted really. Um, I suppose there's always, always a privacy issue involved in that and people reluctantly having to go into isolation when they don't really want to. They were talking about uh people you've been closer than two metres to for 15 minutes or more and at the moment because of the social distancing that would always be nobody for us for people who are travelling public transport and things like that it would be much more difficult because you don't know who you're sat close to I think the way it's been launched at the moment it's being made kind of a voluntary thing it's not mandatory that you have to self-isolate or it's not being made part of the legal structure around COVID-19 as I understand it. Um, it seems to me that, that it's, there is the possibility for people to um, make mischief with the system as it's now been launched. It should have been something that we should have knuckled down on, you know, when we first went into lockdown, because I feel like at this point now, lockdown's obviously working, but I think we could have increased the chances of it being better by bringing this in, you know, a few months back.